And you have tremendous agency is the point. That's the, in terms of once you've recognized the problem, whatever the problem might be, personally or professionally or socially or whatever, um, then you recognize the cause and the cause is hidden mental models. And a huge part of the reason why it's so important to recognize that cause is because it gives you empowerment the empowerment of agency, because that means if your hidden mental models are the cause of all this suffering and all these problems, mm -hmm. then you have real agency. I don't want to say control, but yeah. influence, yeah. you know, uh, you don't have total control, but you have agency, you have influence, you have the ability to act upon mm -hmm. or react upon, you know, yeah. um, your situation. And they, these hidden mental models, sometimes in systems thinking, we use, uh, we've used for a long time, uh, the notion of a, an iceberg, you know, where you have kind of an iceberg like this. And mm -hmm. most folks, most folks every day focus on what we call the surface level events. The things that happen. Stuff that, that happens. Happening you know, I didn't get the promotion at work. I didn't, you know, my, mm -hmm. my marriage isn't going well or my kids are having trouble or whatever. And they're focused on those events. And what they don't see is underneath. You know, they see the top of the iceberg, but they don't see the, the, the beneath the iceberg, beneath the thing that's showing is a lot more There's stuff. There's more stuff. Under There's there. more hidden yeah. stuff. So all of this for most folks is hidden from our view. And what we need to do is is understand, you know, be able to sort of make this less hidden, see more of it. And so what is it? It's pattern, right? Mm -hmm. That events tied together make a pattern. If right. you have two events, that's the minimal pattern. And so, you know, the classic example is I'm in this terrible relationship with my boyfriend or girlfriend or, you yeah, know, yeah. My, my significant other. And it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, but this is the fourth one that you've had that's right. like this. So the names have changed, the events have changed. <laughs> you know, it went from Bill to Bob to yeah. Frank to John. Mm -hmm. So you think, oh, th those are all different people. But actually, no, they're all kind of the same. I'm getting involved in the same. same patterned relationship. And I've been in this one four times. Or I keep getting into the same job situation, yeah. you know? Wait, and, yeah. Right? So you're seeing this pattern level. And that's where you start to see that, oh, there's a there's a pattern to the events. Yeah, but even that's hard to see. Really hard to because see. Because this yeah. is so seductive and so easy up here. Totally. Right? So And, and bothersome. I mean, right? how many times have I talked to colleagues or friends and said, you realize you did this last year. Yeah. You realize that happened six months ago. You re and, and 100%. It, it's a real pause moment. And, oh, yeah, so it's hard, it's hard just to get to this level. Yeah. Yeah. With young people, they, they have a hard time seeing those patterns, yeah. right? Because they, they haven't lived long enough to sort of yeah. get the perspective of, oh, yeah, this is repeating. this Because yeah. to them, it feels all new, yeah. right? The the new girlfriend or the new boyfriend or the new whatever is, is new. So yeah. it's new, exciting, different. And you're like, yeah, but underneath, yeah. it's not new. It's the same signal that you're sending out you're attracting the same people you're getting involved in the same kinds of relationships yeah but it's even things like oh it's the new school year the and it's like year, oh my yeah. study habits are the same as last year are the same as the year before yes. you know so it's it's not just the interpersonal no no no, no. All kinds it's of anything yeah. anything i mean it could be eating habits it could be uh, any, yeah. you know anything that anything that can be patterned which is anything yeah. Um, I'm just using examples of yeah, relationships because I think sometimes people, you know, have visceral <laughs> uh, awesome. memories of those kinds of things. But then what's what's unique is um, there's something more that you have to pay attention to than patterns, because the thing that is driving those patterns, which is driving those events, we call structure or structures. Right. And in systems thinking, there's a there's a very old uh, saying that is is something that we should all sort of heed which is structure determines behavior. Structure determines behavior. So this is the world of behavior up here. You've got all these behaviors happening and some of them you like and some of them you don't. Some of them are yours, some of them are other people's. But generally speaking, you know, the events that happen in the world, somebody on the subway or somebody in a car or, you know, oh, I don't like that or I do like that, whatever. Uh, 
those are all the land of behaviors. But what we want to see is the pattern that's driving those behaviors. And then we want to see the structure that's driving those patterns to drive those behaviors.